I know you might have seen a couple of good movies over the years, but I know you never saw this one. This one is the live action Fist of the North Star movie. You heard that right. Unlike Avatar The Last Airbender or Dragon Ball Evolution, Fist of the North Star is literally Oscar winning material. It's up there with Morbius. I know the poster looks cringe, like you got someone cosplaying as Chuck Norris with two guys in the Mortal Kombat universe, but I can assure you, more than meets the eye. The movie follows the manga slash anime, so World War 3 breaks out, the world turns to shit, and Kinshiro, who looks like Ian from Smosh, is left to die with seven holes in his chest at the hands of Lord Shin, until he wakes up, still alive from that previous battle, and now he wanders the wasteland to protect the innocent and defeat Lord Shin and the school of the Southern Cross once and for all. The dialogue in this film is some of the best I've seen. For example, this conversation between Lord Shin and Kinshiro's father, it's just tapped with emotion. Lord Shin knows he has to kill the Fist of the North Star, but Ryuken is prepared, his body is ready. The twist of the century comes when Lord Shin kills Ryuken, not with the fist of course, but with the power of the gun. His words echo with anger, contempt, in savagery as he cocks his pistol and kills Ryokin in cold blood. He outsmarted, he's outsmarted. This scene shows to the audience alone that Lord Shin is not a man to be trifled with. When it suits him, he will do anything to remain in power, especially if he has to break the code of honor. It's just business and his tone of voice echoes his fact. This is one of my favorite scenes as well from the movie. And well, the scene just speaks for its- Well, at first, looking like a skit that you would see on the Smosh channel, I can definitely see the absolute passion put into this film. The way in which the goons' bodies react to when Kinshiro punches or kicks them is so faithful to the manga, the chef's kiss to this jaw-dropping film. But this movie does best introduce you to the world of Kinshiro. The post-apocalyptic imagery is handled really well. It helps show the effect World War III had on the world at large. The lighting in certain scenes really sets not only the tone of the film, but also the badassery of Kinshiro. Oh, and a good thing about this film is that it gets even better when you have liquor around. I give this film 8 Heisenbergs out of 10.